Happy Independence Day to Antigua and Barbuda! Today we are looking at some Antiguan history in London. Um, honestly this one is a little bit of a stretch, but it was either this or an incredibly depressing slavery story, and I think we deserve a happy story today. Say hello to James Arthur Harley, who was born on Antigua in 1873 to a black mother and a white father. He wants to be a priest, so he goes to seminary in the US, but he's turned away from his first choice for being black. He goes to an African-American seminary instead, and when he gets there he's like, eh, theology's not hard enough, I want to study law. And once he's done that he gets accepted by both Yale and Harvard, and he's like, eh, law's not hard enough, I want to study Semitic languages. Then he gets accepted to Oxford University, where he studies for a degree in theology and a diploma in anthropology at the same time. This was the first time Oxford had ever done this anthropology diploma, so there was only three of them. His London connection is that during World War I he comes to London to King's College and Goldsmiths to study munitions manufacture, and then for the rest of the war he's working in a munitions factory in Leicestershire. He goes into local politics and he becomes a councillor, and he makes an entire newspaper about why the council is rubbish while he's on the council. And when locals complain that their houses are in disrepair, instead of making them go through the process where contractors bid to fix up the houses, he just turns up with some handyman and he's like, right, what needs fixing? And he spends the last years of his life in World War II finding homes in the country for evacuee children. 